Let me read this. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You have anointed my head with oil, my cup overflows. Ang atong tunan karon ni Kibi, ang adlaw na buntag, enjoying the Lord's grace and generosity. My praise at the next prayer. Father in heaven, thank you so much, Lord. It's an opportunity again to open your holy word. And uh, we are going to make the bread. You know, para makatao na ang magalag. Lord, you may be exalted, you know, sa mga taon ka niya. And maka the comfort encouragement and if there is a need of repentance and uh, uh, faith you know now na ikaw mag work out sa mga ito sa sa kasi kasi sa mga ito sa dito sa pangin mo yan Lord ang pinaka goal din na mo you just make the our worship very simple but our focus is you and your work you know that all matters you know sa mga ito we don't have any uh, excellent choir or anything you know. We just want to sit down and listen your word. Pero nga, Lord, bless our time together as we put up your words in Jesus' name. Amen. Enjoying the, the Lord's grace and generosity. Now, I always say, basta naagani text, ginasultin ako, what's the meaning of the text? And sa ginapasabot. And the meaning of the text is, the Lord is everything we need in life. That's really the meaning of the text. Uh, some may express this in different uh, statement, but if you look at the text, the Lord is everything we need in life. So, verse 5, David testify his joyful experience of what what is what it, it is to know the lord because it is one thing to say na so verse one English, yeah, the lord is my shepherd it's one thing to say that i have relationship with the lord a personal relationship with the lord it's another thing to say that i enjoy god in my life uh, uh, you claim that you are a christian we claim that we have a relationship with the Lord. The question, do you enjoy Him in your life? So that's uh, David, he expressed the other day, he had joyful experience. It's, it's a, there's a tone of thankfulness, a gratitude of how the Lord takes care of you. In a bigger nga, buntag, tulog ka, kabatuuran, truths about the Lord is everything in life uh, to enjoy. Uh, sa atong mga kinabuhin. Una, makita natin dito is, the Lord is gracious to share His life towards His people. Please understand, nga ka nga psalm, it's a personal expression, it's a personal meditation, it's a personal song uh, from the heart of David, but the application is very uh, extended Extendable. Pwede ito makaingon. Ng mga tao, the same as what he said. So, remember, kung imutan out po ang verse 5, David changed his imagery. Remember, kung tanaw na ito ang verse 1 to 3, he portrayed the imagery of the shepherd and the sheep relationship. The Lord is my shepherd, and that implies that he is the sheep. So he portrays, uh, portrayed uh, the imagery of the relationship between the shepherd and the sheep. Verse, verse 5 is the portrait of the banquet. The Lord is the host and David is the guest. Anding uh, text, if you try to look at some, wala sila ga consider anding ang uban straight for you na siya. Uh, uh, shepherd image review. Kung tanawin yun po din mo, 
tungod sa mga terms yung ginagamit niya, table, anointing, anointing, and also cup. Uh, it's another thing na gina-mention niya. Okay, di man mag-prepare si David sa table para makakaon ang mga wala, ang mga sheep. Uh, Inadala niya sa green pastures. So now, uh, David moved to the banquet set up of of uh, uh, banquet set up. The Lord is the host and David is the guest. And please note that both imagery uh, sa pag uh, portray ni, ni David and ni, they have the same content. The shepherd feed and take care of the sheep. The host also feed the invited guest and take care sa iya. Uh, the same rank point, different lang ang pag-express. Okay? Uh, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Now, kung imo observe dere tulog ka uh, characteristic dimension ni uh, tulog ka characters dimension ni David. The Lord can I you refers to the Lord and uh, they, me refers to David and also the enemies, my enemies. Now, but kung tanang po nino ang verse five. The Lord Himself chose to share His life with David in this case. Wala niya gipili ang enemy. Enemies. Si David, ingo siya, you prepare a table before me. Before me. Okay? So, the focus of the Lord is David in whom he shared his life and not for the enemies. I think mga magyapon na ako. So, it's more on David and the Lord. Okay? There's a transaction going on between them. Uh, Ani, kaning, we call that uh, sometimes this is because God and man meet together that they call it transaction. Right? Just like we, as we come together and worship the Lord, there is a transaction going on between God, the Holy God, and His people. So that's uh, our term, the Gilgami. Uh, and this transaction, holy transaction, is unhindered by the enemies. Enemies exist anywhere, anytime. Your thoughts, your. Uh, Pero ang um, di sulti niya ni, of course, di bibig plano kung kinsa ni mga tawhana. Pero si David, nagkaroon po siya na even ang iya ganing buwan, ang iya anak mismo, lahim mo niya ng kontra. So, pero kaning uh, transaction di rin nga di ingon ni David, it was a transaction, it was a, a meeting, a banquet, uh, it, is, it was an unhindered banquet with each other. Uh, Bisan pa, naa ang mga enemies. They all, uh, all the time, naagil na sila mag-exist. Pero, uh, kaninga case, ingon siya, he prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Uh, ang enemies diri means sa, uh, sa, ang iyong meaning is to bind, to cause distress, or the kind of mga uh, to destroy. But in this case, ito siya, despite of, of, of naani sila, it, they were present. Naagin na sila, kaya exist yun nila. But you give your time, your life to me. Ito siya, uh, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. So, uh, although naa sila, but in this case, the enemies is powerless to destroy the blessed relationship of uh, the Lord and His people. Well, what's the point, I think, apart? Uh, the point is that believers have special privilege to be chosen by the Lord. Huh? To share His life towards them, towards us. To David, 
and also towards us. It is a real blessing to have the Lord in our lives. But it's a privilege. So, wala gihatag ang privilege to anyone in this world, any person in this world, to give this privilege, special privilege, to this. People, for those who have relationship with and that's that's why for Kaiunja get enjoy the relationship. Uh lang taman sa relationship and enough na. Uh, I am saved now and therefore that's all. No. Uh kung tanaw ni mo niya, daghan kayo dimension si David na nag enjoy siya sa iya kinabuhi. That's one thing na makita na to. Uh, the Lord is gracious to share His life towards His people, David and even us. Dili kita nagpilip, You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you to be your friend, to be your people. And it's a privilege on our part to be part of that relationship. And he share his his attribute. Of course, I'll uh, in communicable attribute. He has it. That is why we can live a holy life because he shared, he shared his life towards us. Uh, and it's attainable because we are be holy for I am. It's a command. Attainable, it's not perfect yet, kayo, but the pattern of life that we will be able to And then, what is the thing that we enjoy in this day? The thing that we share in this life. Now, secondary, the Lord is gracious to supply the needs of His people. Of course, again, talking, uh, David talk, uh, is talking was talking about himself adding a passage but again the application is <coughs> for the believers the Lord is gracious to supply the needs of his people uh, you prepare a table now even though the setup of the text is a banquet or I would say special meal Ani ang iyong pag picture ani. Uh, the Lord is the host. He was the one who prepared uh, every detail so that the guest would enjoy the meal. So ingana as it set up. But the point really is not more on the setup. Okay. It is. It's not only more on the setup but it is also God's supply towards him. Mao mo gina yang point. Di picture lang niya nga ingana mo ra ingana nito. Mao mo gina ta bong nga nang prepare ka kag ino of table and then nagao nag lingkod gyud sila and nagao. No, no. That's not the point. The point of the text is the Lord take care of me. He opened my life in my life. Uh, in, he opened his life as a God, the creator of he, he he opened his life to me and now he also supplied my needs. And he said he prepared a table before me. Uh, the Lord is gracious to provide the needs of his people. To also David. Now the word prepare suggests that uh, nothing must be overlooked on David's needs that is not provided. Table, uh, table, prepare, table, table implies what? Bread? Bread or any food available for David. Uh, in other words, he doesn't serve in providing his needs. Uh, whatever need you can and he give me 
he put attention, he made sure that uh, anak yang di, di provide sa ibu. That really what you need. That what makes you happy. As I provided, or as I provided uh, to you. So, uh, so the same service the Lord rendered towards believers. His eyes is very attentive toward his people and the needs as well. Uh, the Lord is our daily supply of needs. Now, primarily, this is about ritual needs. Ah, kaya ang, of course, dapat ikinalat ang dawado sa atong physical aspect. But he provided that in in the common grace that everyone uh, under the common grace everyone uh, not say means the way I provide you you have to work work and earn magtanong ka para na kay harvest that's a common grace uh, one. Uh, but sometimes even kind of kinanglano na to even wala galing na itong ikabawaan, still God provide uh, sa ato mga kinalan. Di ba? Na ay mga, mga times na video. Listen to you, if possible, kaya niyong mahita mo sa kong kinabuhay. Well, siguro ma... Matay na lang ko, di ba? Hindi ako ma... Maang ko lang ako ma... But sometimes God use me. May mga tao na makakita sa inyong ibigalit siya. Ito po ba? Pero hindi sometimes may mga 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 bisyo na ito kaya matabaw. But still God is very good. It's blessed. It's grace sa ito. But David is more really on the spiritual need of his life. More on his relationship with the Lord. Just like Ephesians 1, to be blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed, blessed us with every spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. So, uh, if we look at the text, it's like that the Lord is the source of our spiritual needs. He is our spiritual need and He is also the source of our spiritual needs. Uh, let me share something. And, uh, last night, I was in the morning with my wife. I was in the morning with my wife. Last night, I was in the morning and then I was in the morning with my wife. I was in the morning with my wife. And when I was in the morning with my wife, Si Ezra, naiwan nila, Kuya, dili man si Jesus ang nag-prepare sa atong pagkaon. Si Mama man. Kaya niya mga po, Lord, thank you for preparing this food. Ay, katawa mo yan? I try to understand na, Ezra, sakto man po. Si Mama ba yan agad ang nag-prepare ang pagkaon? Dili man po, dili man yun si Juan. But I will try to explain that the When we say that, because sometimes kaya nga text niya damit na to sa prayer, they'll prepare the table, you prepare the table before me. Like, like Lord, thank you for preparing this food that way. But what we are saying is that thank you for providing this. Okay? Thank you that you are the source of this physical need. Well, I just really try to add, we try to Uh, explain any uh, aspect. So, so, Dili lang siya uh, he shares a ginawa ang iyong life sa life ni David. Second thing is that also he provides a means of David. So, that's another thing and makita na ito sa verse 5. And then lastly, the third one is the Lord is the satisfaction of His people. Okay? Uh, two phrases that he used in the day. You anointed my head with oil, my cup ran over. So let's go to the one 
uh, first one, kaning you anointed uh, my head with oil. Na ay tulok ka common. Tagan may interpretation. Pero na ay tulok ka common interpretation. Uh, aning aning a phrase, uh, you have anointed my head with oil. So I'm not saying this is my interpretation. Okay? This is uh, common interpretation sa mga Bible scholars and uh, Bible uh, teachers. Now, first number one interpretation is that uh, this is the picture of kung shepherd ka custom niya sa 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 Israelites palis palis sa ila na ang shepherd mag pour out of oil sa one sa sa sheep uh, ang purpose ana is that uh, for the purpose of protecting the the sheep sa iyang kay ang ilang kuan mang god humok pa daw na ilang ilong and then naay mga parasites and then flies diya man need load and then uh, muabot daw ang point na medyo gilukan sila medyo kuan ilang ibunggo ang ilang uh, ilong sa ilang naong sa bato uh, to the point na ma, ma na ako ay cases daw na mapatay ka so ginamutan na ng oil para protection na sa mga na ang ilang dalunggan but I try to look at kung nakapagod na naamog yun yung nakingon ana but uh yung mga magintay ay di ana kay na naman tayo rin gawa sa mga articles ng mga gipang sulat ni Bello uh, so now that's one uh, the shepherd ingon siya rin the shepherd anointed sheep's head with oil for two reasons to prevent sunstroke and apade napagani sunstroke to prevent parasites the oil run into the uh, around the sheep's ears eyes and nose to repel flies uh, I think bola yung pinaka one good nila ani so that's one interpretation okay the second is interpretation is uh, is about the life of David. David literally experienced head anointing with oil. Remember sa sa First uh, Samuel uh, 16. Katuligon ng Ginoo ng Samuel. Uh, I have chosen a king now. Go to Bethlehem uh, to the house of Jesse. And na dito kong ipili. Uh, uh, kanang puna ang imong ang horn of oil. Kaya yung siya nga ano. And then pagkato niya dito. Uh, ito yung mga anak. Si David absent na ito. Kaya nag, <laughs> nag, uh, nagbantay ka dito. So, pinakauna mo anak. anak. Murag ang tanaw ni Samuel nga. Uy, mo na ni. Pero... Later on, I said, no, it's not all day. And uh, the rest, seven brothers of one, the when they present the, the Jesse, um, Samuel, he was a wallet. And I said, I'm not going to be lying anymore. And now, what? Now, I need to. And bring him. Para ma kwan, para ma. I go to the reverse to back. So he sent and brought him in. Now he was Rudy. With beautiful eyes and a handsome, a handsome appearance, and the Lord said, "Arise, anoint him." Mismo dito, isuriyati kwan si si Samuel. Arise, anoint him, for this is he. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him. Uh, in the midst of his brothers and the spirit of the Lord came mightily upon David from that day forward so uh, this is uh, some said that sa pag experience you did David literally uh, aning a uh, one aning a uh, case when, when David said you anoint my head with oil uh, 
uh, some says that that's the meaning na uh, he anoints here as a king chosen by God to be the next king of Israel now the last the last interpretation Ali, is that uh, some says in which I would also go uh, in this level uh, Ali, but I can change my position Ali. Okay, deliberately dogmatic. This is how they understand this text. Okay? Now, the argument is that there's a messianic aspect of the phrase. The messianic aspect. What, what does it mean? That it's, although it's real in the life of, of David, but there's, uh, there's something uh, in, a, uh, in a picture near. Oh, it's the Messiah picture the, the coming Jesus Christ and uh, about this phrase because of the word and meaning and I will explain that the uh, argument this is the argument is uh, argument is that most of the text is about head anointing as a messianic aspect Ana. Sa kuan. Naman po eh, depende sa context, naman po eh, nag-pour up, nag-pour o kuan. Pero mostly, ay gina, gina, buta nga, gina, gina, na ay pouring uh, head, head anointing sa oil, mostly prophets, kings, ito po yun, very sad. At murag, murag, mo yun na ang, ang kuan, ang gina, so, kung makita ka ganun mostly, dili man tanan, depende sa context. Uh, so, na yung misayanic aspect. This is being uh, fulfilled in Christ. Now, what is interesting as I look at the word anoint, anointed uh, in Hebrew means to be fat. Okay? Uh, to become fat. Grabe ka 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 niya. Morning meaning, you know, morning meaning, yeah. Uh, it's, it's more on the context because the context is talking about meal. It's talking about food supply. Now, and uh, so, mawagin na kung tanaw na limo nito sa, sa Hebrew uh, meaning. Again, what is it? Pagpatambo. Meaning, the word anoint here is not about the kingship of David, okay? But rather, the food that made him grow and strengthen him. Okay? Now, this is consi consistent to the immediate context. Because David is talking about what? It's necessary. Banquet and it's necessary element. Because banquet is that banquet without food okay so uh, now Jesus Christ the anointed one in the New Testament uh, Luke 4 18 made a declaration that he is what he is the bread of life and the living water and I am more convinced of this to say uh, uh, let me read to you John 6 35 Jesus said to them I am the bread of life okay he who comes to me shall not hunger and he who believes in me shall not, never thirst uh, he anoints me with oil my cup runs over it's about food and drink Huh? Uh, John 6, 48, move forward. Uh, I am the bread of life. You, your father, ate the manna in the wilderness and they died. So, this bread that comes down from out of heaven so that anyone may eat from it and not die. I am the living bread that came down out of heaven. If anyone eats, from this bread he will live forever and the bread which I will give for life of the world 
also is my request. So it, it makes sense, I would say. Uh, so when David said, you anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows because of the word, the meaning of the word anoint is to give part. Uh, what he meant in this case is that the Lord is the satisfaction of his people. He satisfied David as his daily food and drink. Because as among the Hebrew scholars, in Jew, he said that what really the point of anointing and and uh, uh, the the cup overflows is that is that when you have the Lord, you will never thirst again. You will never become hungry again. You will experience the satisfaction that you will deliver. The same co conclusion to be made here in in verse one when David said, "As a shepherd, the Lord is my shepherd." What he said, "I." shall not want. I shall not want. As a verse 5, because the Lord is my host, uh, then I have everything. I shall not. I am satisfied with this. Yeah. The grace of the Lord that flows down in my cup is what? Over low. Meaning the Lord is all what we need, not only all what we have, and all what we need in this life. We want to find satisfaction and material. Enjoy the Lord. I assume that uh, I would say. Uh, 99% now you tell me that we have to on the other hand we have to enjoy the Lord in our life. to have the Lord is a satisfying and joyful experience in our lives so uh, that's Psalm 23 verse May we enjoy God in you know, His grace and His generosity. Mm -hmm. He is everything. When you found the Lord, you have everything. Okay? When you try to work hard to get something, that's not everything. I go up in a second. That's not everything. Just to get more upgrade, upgrade, but we do. When you found the Lord, that's second. All you have, all in you. May the Lord bless this. Let's pray. Father, you know, thank you so much, you know, because in this life, our fleshly desire, uh, keep on desiring the things you know, and do you give us satisfaction? Thank you for your word today. That when we repented of our sins and believe you as our Savior, the Bible says that we have relationship with you. And when we have relationship with you, that settles our desire of everything in this world. You are all in all Samuel. Wala na you know. In our nature, my blessing, my journey, my own. Uh, having a relationship. Thank you for choosing us. Thank you for inviting us to be your people. Uh, Salamat you. May you bless. Padayon sa among mga pinagawin. Pinagawin ito yan. Pinagawin ito yan. Pinagawin ito yan.